Men's doubles was the first event of the Eastern Conference Championship match. Robert Kendrick and John McEnroe taking on a very active Leander Pays and Bobby Reynolds, and the castles were sharp at the start. Quick hands and quick feet, and you can see right away at the beginning, they came out to be fast. They broke John McEnroe and rode that advantage throughout. In the end, it was Pays serving to close it down. McEnroe can't get it done on the return of serve. Next up was the mixed doubles. Venus Williams alongside Leander Pays and Kveta Peshki subbing for Martina Hingis alongside Robert Kendrick. And the sport times, when Kendrick came on board, suddenly caught fire. A ton of positive energy, good returns, and I thought the volleys were money. Check this out, comes across, and this was kind of the theme throughout this set. Able to take it 5-2 and even the score. Men's singles, Jesse Witten taking on Bobby Reynolds. Bobby Reynolds, the player of the year in 2012, rock solid throughout. This was the one set everyone thought had to be won by either side. And, and New York was trying to make a run, just missed like, so many early opportunities to break. And it was the first serve from Bobby Reynolds time and time again to get himself out of a jam. Yeah, Reynolds has been such a stalwart for the team, and he showed it there, finishing off in style. Time next for the women's doubles. Venus Williams alongside Anastasia Rodionova, and Venus struggled early against Ashley Harkelrode and Kveta Peshki. This was a massive shocker, uh, because you thought New York was about to fall apart with Venus stepping on the court, but Ashley Harkerode came alive and was a difference maker. Check this out. That was kind of the theme right from the start to the finish. New York really took control of this set. Yeah, Harker Road solid from the back, didn't make too many errors. There was the breakthrough and a chance to get it done, which they did 5-2. So it was 14 all going into the final set. Venus taking on Ashley. Ashley had chances early. But Venus fought her off, and suddenly it just turned. Suddenly Venus was playing great tennis, and Ashley couldn't do enough. Well, poor Ashley Harkerode, who's going to really kick herself, because this was the defining point of the entire match. The running backhand defending it down the line and steering it for the winner. Venus Williams takes the final event. The Washington Castles win the Eastern Conference Championship.